Hey, good day everyone. It's Cassidy from Smith RV in Casper, Wyoming. I want to show you guys this 2013 Jayco Jayfeather 24T travel trailer. We just took this in on trade and it is in super good condition. Uh, so, a couple things on this. It is 4,800 pounds dry, roast out, full tanks, all of your contents, you know, way too much stuff as we all do comes in at 6,250 pounds. So uh, awesome half ton towable uh, unit. So whether you got an SUV, half ton truck, something of that nature, this would be super ideal. So being an ultralight trailer, you don't typically get a lot of water capacity. This one is coming in at 28 gallons of fresh water. It is something you probably want to bring some additional water if you're going to be doing some dry camping. So. That being said, let's go through the rest of the coach. So, we do have an, a little additional outside storage here. So, got some nice seals on here to keep that closed up tight. We have a power awning on this unit. Now, back then, they did things a little differently, but you still can adjust the pitch of this awning. Not quite as easy as you can on the newer ones but still gives you that chance to adjust that up and down for shade, water runoff, things of that nature. We have two 110 plugs on the outside, cable hookup, outside speakers. We have aluminum wheels. Now, just a double steel treaded uh, entrance door step. Moving on here. We have a bracket for what we like to call an RBQ. And down below here, we do have a LP quick connect on the bottom of this. So now really the biggest thing is you just need a grill that does not have a propane regulator on it. That's your biggest deal. Being this trailer already has a propane regulator on it, you can't use a grill with a regulator being, it puts out very little uh, propane flow, giving you very little flame on that unit. But it's kind of nice you have that option, whether you do get one that hooks to the side of the unit or you can freestand next to the unit, which I think that's almost more ideal. So you don't splatter up the side of the unit with, uh, with uh, this morning's bacon grease. Okay, so standard stabilizer jacks on this. We have a pass-through storage here. Very nice, very clean. Usually you see those all scratched up and people dragging stuff in and out of them. This one's in pretty good shape. All right, let's check out the front of this. So this is everything, the fiberglass on this is in super good shape. This is taking a little more sun on the front, but other than that, the sides and the back are in super good shape. We have the power tin jack, two 20 pound propane tanks. And we're big believers in two batteries here at Smith RV. So we've got two 24 group deep cycle batteries on board. Coming around to the utility side of this, our other entrance from the pass through storage. We have an outside shower, sea water connection, uh, fresh water fill. Now, this is a gravity fill. So if you are dry camping, with just 28 some gallons of water on this particular unit, you might want to get those kind of uh, jerry can uh, style uh, water jugs from from uh, from whatever outdoor store you like, and you could kind of do a funnel in here and kind of fill this as you go. So kind of will help extend your stay while you're dry camping with a smaller water capacity. Six gallon DSI water heater that is a gas electric water heater. We have our furnace exhaust here, range vent uh, hood there, so all of your exhaust from the range vent will come out here. We do have a very small slide uh, on this unit. You know, I think the upside of small slides is don't have as much issues, say when you're backing into a camp spot, is is it gonna clear the tree or trees? So this one only being, say, maybe a foot or so, uh, not going to have probably any, any issues opposed to some of these slides get as deep as say four feet deep. This one is pretty shallow, but it does open it up just enough on the inside where you have room for activities. We'll take a look at that in a minute. So we have a cable input on the outside here. 
all of our dump valves below. And I do want to take note on this too, that the underbelly is enclosed on this and the valves are actually in the underbelly. So that will help you be able to dump the holding tanks while being maybe colder outside, being uh, winter has officially set here in Wyoming. Coming around the back side, nothing too exciting back here, spare tire and carrier. Um, let's go on the inside. All right guys, let's take a look at the inside of this. I think in, in 2013, of course, you had a lot of uh, rich maple uh, colors uh, going on in here. But seeing the condition of this, um, I think it's hard to believe this is a 2013. So we have a Norcold six cubic foot gas electric fridge. I'll show you that. I don't even see any ring marks in the, in the shelves like you see in a lot of units. So definitely a low use unit. All right, we have a booth dinette here, so this will make down into a sleeping surface. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what that looks like. Real quick, before that bed goes into place, I want to show you Jayco's signature move always. Solid wood, no chipboard, even back in 2013. We have some nice storage below here. 110 plug down, kind of inconveniently located, but still, nonetheless, you do have one here. Solid wood on this side. This side is not accessible unless you're pulling that screw out. All right, let's see what this looks like with the bed up. All right, here we got our sleeping surface up and going in just minutes. I always like to see how well I fit or not fit. Let's take a look. Oh, well, you really have to go kitty corner or, or hang a leg off, but Keep in mind, I'm 6'3". The average person would probably fit on here pretty decently. At least it'd be great for kids though. So we do have a sleeping surface here. And then we can also go to this side and either casually lounge on the sofa or we can jackknife this thing down. And this actually makes also a nice bed. So depending on how many people you got in this unit with the walk around queen bed up front, the boot I net down and the jackknife, could sleep five to six people in here, possibly, depending the size. Something you don't see very much anymore. Nice little cup holders built in on each end. You're not gonna put any big gulps in there, but, uh, but at least they'll fit something. Now here we have, you don't see this much anymore either. It's, I think it's really awesome though, but the wall and the door match. If you weren't paying attention and might've had a few margaritas, you might not even know where the door is at right here in the middle though, as you can imagine. So on into the bathroom, pretty standard sink, but counter space like crazy in this thing. Toilet paper holder tucked in there. Standard uh, plastic foot flush Thetford. And then we have a, uh, a very nice kind of linen wardrobe type of uh, arrangement over here and standard tub and shower so if you do got kids they get all crazy get them hosed off so now i am up a little tight into the skylight here but not too bad considering it's a very low cut trailer i think this thing's height is at 10.42 feet so she's pretty low cut and it's ultralight so some of the reason there is understandable all right on over to here we do have a DVD player. Um, again, these things have been going away in trailers for the last quite a few years. Still play DVDs, CDs in this, AM, FM as well. So, a little flat screen TV, kind of cute, built into this uh, little cabinet here. Not, not see very much of that anymore these days. All right, let's go take a look at the kitchen. So, we have an Atwood three burner cooktop. Um, I do like that these are removable because you know it is just inevitable that things are gonna drop beneath. And then you can also lift this up and even clean beneath that. So something you really can't do as easily today, but I think that's nice. You barely even see any staining on this. I can't believe how good a shape this thing is. 
pretty standard oven. Microwave, super good shape. Got a fan vent and a light there. Got a few drawers here. Decent depth on those. So we got four total drawers, two more down below. So we do got access to the back side of the water heater underneath here. So it's nice that that's pretty easily accessible if you do want to winterize the unit yourself. A lot of storage there. And we got a 60-40 sink with a high-rise faucet. Okay, a few of our control switches over here. So we have our slide switch, power awning switch, water pump, water heater for gas, water heater for electric, batteries full. And the reason why that is so full and nice like is because we had actually upfit this trailer last time with a 170 watt uh, ZAMP solar panel on the roof of this thing. Uh, so this is a 30 amp controller. So in the event you ever wanted to do more on that, we could actually add more to this trailer. But this 170 for this 24 model foot is probably going to be pretty ample for most people. So just a few light switches there. All right, let's head to the bedroom now. So into the bedroom, we have a walk around queen bed. We have a sliding pocket door with a strap. Got air conditioning ducts in here. Individually lighted uh, lights, his and hers. So we got wardrobes on each side. Nice deep cabinets. Might not be able to see, let me open up this one. Pretty deep cabinets there. All right, let's take a look under the bed. Let's see what's going on under here. So, nice solid wood and a big storage beneath there. So, great unit guys. Again, I'm Cassidy. I'm with Smith RV in Casper, Wyoming. On our used units, we go through and we check all the plumbing, electrical, appliances. We make sure the the propane's full, detailed. We do a walkthrough training with you. And so you can feel confident that everything's gonna work. In fact, we've even plugged in customers in our parking lot that are from out of state and spent the night with us just to make sure that they feel comfortable and confident about the unit they're buying from us. So if we can help, uh, give us a call. See our website, smithrv.com. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, hit subscribe. We'd love to have you come along with us. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.